All right, as a designer, you need to have a couple of brushes that you always use in your compositions. So I made a list of five of these brushes that I always use and they're all free. So that's the best thing about it. And like this video if you like free stuff so I can make more things on free stuff for Photoshop. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because you can get a lot of inspiration there for your own work. All right, the first one is the brush pack by Jonas Duro. There are a lot of brushes in this pack, but there's one particular brush that I always use, and that is the hair brush. There it is. And you can use this brush for animals, for fur, and for your hair. So because I've seen a lot of times people cutting out hair really bad, so this brush is going to help with that. So once you got the selection, once you got the background removed from your photo, you want to create a new layer, click right mouse and create clipping mask. Next you want to do is grab a normal brush, a soft round brush, pick the color and pick some, sample some color from your hair, press OK and now you want to drop the opacity around 50% and you want to make like around your hair this. So basically you brush some stuff around your hair. After that, you want to click on your mask, then go to the smudge tool. And here you want to select your hairbrush and keep the strength around 70%. And after that, just smudge. So you can create like these little hairs. So you cut looks a lot better and play around with the strength here. So maybe if it's too much, you can drop this and a little bit less or if you want to have more contrast you can increase this so basically play around with the settings and use this as a hairbrush and i'm also using this for fur basically the same way so you click on the on the mask of your color image and you just brush some fur with it so that way you have a nice clear cut of your subject and you can also have the details of the hair all right next one is the mist brush Try to do these brushes at the end of your composition. So when you're done with the whole design, you can use these brushes to make it look better. So I'm gonna use this one as an example and I'm gonna select just one of these brushes from the mist one, create a new layer and try to do this on a separate layer. So you can always adjust that. And basically you can just like click anywhere and make like this little mist and try to use different ones from the from the pack so you don't see pattern when you're creating these this mist and like these clouds and stuff like that so let's see so if you want to create something mysterious like maybe some mist around the subject or something you can use this brush and it looks really cool i think and you gotta understand that the farther you move away from the camera the less contrast it has so if you create like mist in the background you can try to drop the opacity here so it looks more real. So don't use 100% if it's somewhere in the background, but drop it a little bit like that. So that way you can create like depth in your image and it looks more real than without playing around with the settings. All right, next one is the sunshine brush. I use this when I have like maybe spotlight or sunlight in the composition. So let me show it here. And they have like a couple of these sunshines here and you can pick one of these and just use them like this. Just click anywhere and after that, make sure it's coming from the place where your light source is. So don't just place them like that. Just need to make sure, all right, light is on the right side of the image. So I need to create these sunbeams or light beams, whatever, on the right side of your image. So play around with these and I'm sure you can create something cool with these. All right, next pack of brushes that I use when I have something like this. I'm using this as an example and that are the tree brushes. So in this pack, you can select which tree you wanna use and after that, just select the color picker and sample color from the surroundings where you want those trees. So here it is like a little bit of greenish gray and after that, create a new layer, select the brush and make sure it's only for the background because it, these are like silhouettes so you don't wanna use this in the foreground. And after that, you can just press a couple of times and add some trees in the background. And this image has blurred out background, so you want to make sure the trees are also blurred out. 
So once you created your trees, just go to Gaussian blur and add some blur to it to make it more realistic. And make sure it's like the same range as, as your other stuff in the background. So this way you can create like this surrounding with trees and stuff and try out different trees they have here. All right, last pack of brushes that you need to have is the cloud brushes. And these are really cool for compositions like this also. So I'm using this as an example. And you wanna just create a new layer and select one of these clouds. And make sure you have white selected as a color and you can just place some clouds in the air to make your image more interesting and play around with the opacity here. So maybe sometimes you don't need 100%, you can just drop this here. So something like this. So those are my brushes that I regularly use. So try these out and you can find them all in the description down below. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and see you in the next one.